the title that I wanted was called Stop Cheating, but um, this is not very informative, so the serious title is this long, long one. Um, so when we talk about collusion in real life, uh, we talk about games, and specifically games where your friend Alice uh, tries to cheat you out of your hard-earned money by wiggling her eyebrows at her friend Bob and sending him her hand in poker. I'm not sure this is le legal because they're young, but anyway. So collusion in protocols is pretty much the same thing. So collusion happens when uh, corrupt parties send some kind of disallowed information uh, through subliminal messages. Uh, for example, their poker hand. And so a collusion-free protocol is one where if you have a local adversary, uh, that is an adversary that don't, uh, where the corrupted parties don't automatically share information, then you can prove that uh, corrupted parties can be emulated by non-colluding uh, ideal adversaries. Okay, so is it possible then to um, have this security guarantee for protocols that are played on the network? And the somewhat surprising answer is yes. So you can play poker uh, with your friends without being cheated out of your hard-earned money online. And, uh, but this yes has sort of an asterisk because uh, uh, this is only possible, as far as we know, in these two settings. So the first setting is through restricted communication. So with, uh, a, for example, a semi-trusted mediator. And the second setting is in the broadcast model, but uh, we don't allow abort. And also, um, we, have, we need physical envelopes. So, okay, so it seems like mediator is nice because uh, we allow abort, but uh, why don't we use it? Uh, the reason is because a potentially malicious mediator can cut off communication between it and some node, uh, some player in the game, for example, and uh, this is indistinguishable from that player being malicious and just not sending any messages to the mediator. So basically what we mean is that a mediator that's malicious means that there is no fairness and no uh, identifiable abort, which is bad for games. Okay, so let's try with uh, broadcast. So in broadcast, what we want ideally is we don't necessarily want um, like a, a, a assumption on physical envelopes. And uh, we want something like a composable a uh, protocol, which is, means that we can have multiple games being played at the same time. And thirdly, we want some guarantees in case of abort. So, and that third point, uh, uh, our protocols uh, will be uh, proven to be collusion-free in the following model, which is called uh, Rational Protocol Design, RPD. So which says that basically uh, a protocol is collusion-free if uh, a rational attacker won't deviate from it. And what that just means is that uh, we make it so that uh, in our protocol, it uh, doesn't make sense for a rational attacker to deviate because it uh, incurs a negative payoff for him. And so how do we do that? Uh, we replace the uh, physical envelope with hardware tokens. And uh, the idea is basically to uh, make the MPC protocol deterministic uh, by having the token um, generate and also hide from the adversary the randomness. And so what we get from this is composability. And also, since abort or misbehavior is publicly uh, verifiable, um, this behavior can be penalized, for example, using smart contract. Yep, that's it. Thank you.